Critical Gallery. <laughs> I have a great career in this museum. This is a great, uh, one of the greatest uh, Russian museum uh, specializing uh, on Russian art. Uh, and uh, in the beginning of my career, I, I was a guide. <laughs> Uh, and uh, in the uh, in the middle, uh, it was uh, I, I was a, a, a chief of uh, multimedia and the med department. Uh, so uh, I have uh, some multimedia projects uh, in my uh, CV. <laughs> uh, after I was. Uh, a <coughs> director of uh, ed uh, edition program uh, in uh, Char Charity Foundation uh, Vladimir Patanin, uh, one Russian millionaire, <laughs> big billionaire. <laughs> uh, and now uh, I'm free and uh, I have some projects uh, in different museum of Russia. And uh, we have um, a number of uh, projects that we are working on, and we are involved. I'm involved in the design of the technology, so I, I do not produce the shows but, or the content, but we design all of the technologies. For years, we have been. I've been under contract to the Smithsonian, and they are the largest projects that we work on. Um, we work for three museums: there, the Museum of Natural History the Museum of American History, and the Museum of the American Indian. And we have new galleries under construction at, at all three. The other project that I'm involved in right now is in New York, <coughs> and it is the National September 11th Museum at the World Trade Center site, which will open this spring, and it's a very large project. It's, um, uh, 10,000 square meters of exhibition space. So it, it is a large project and, and we're involved in that as well. And again, this is in the technology and my interest at Avicom has always been the technology and standards and, and criteria for establishing museum media and technology equipment. I'm working uh, uh, to the Ministry of Culture in, in France in the department of uh, technology, uh, informatic, comment on dit, informatic uh, IT. technology, uh, IT, exactly, IT uh, technology, and uh, but uh, during 25 years, I work for the direction of uh, Musée de France, and uh, for me it was a very great uh, period. Uh, je suis nostalgique de, de cette uh, époque là. Uh, and uh, I am Avicom member uh, depuis le début, since uh, the beginning of Avicom in 1991. And uh, I, uh, and you know, uh, I am founder of the festival and uh, I try to uh, organize this festival uh, each year uh, for Avicom and uh, I hope we develop uh, together this uh, festival. Uh, I was in charge of the uh, uh, only project manager when it's a new museum. We opened in uh, 2007 and uh, I manage all uh, the multimedia and video uh, that are in the museum for a little bit more than 3 million euros. So it was very <laughs> important. And before that, I was a production manager and director of uh, documentary movies uh, from till uh, 2005, when I go to, to the Museum of Kassel. Uh, I'm very interested about uh, the, the use of the devices for, for public, uh, that's uh, of, uh, ergonomy and uh, all these things are my specialty. We do contingency and design uh, in multimedia fields for museums. Uh, I, I do that since 2007 and before that I'm working um, in the Musée du Quai Branly, either as a 
project manager of the digital uh, experience inside the permanent gallery of the museums, uh, both in contain and in hardware design. And um, before that, I do some project in the time of the CD room for the museums, for the Louvre Museum, for the Musée d'Orsay Museums. And I'm very glad, very pleased to be here with, uh, with the ADICOM member to sharing good insights and values with my colleagues. I started in uh, 1992 with Avicom in Germany, in Bonn, in the Haus der Geschichte. It was a big meeting, yes, with uh, Michael Faber. And uh, after that, I continuously visited the conferences and festivals of Avicom. Even I organized twice, one in 1996 with Claude Nicole Hocard in Budapest and in uh, Santander. And also in 2000, a big one in our museum, in the Museum of Ethnography. From, uh, 30, uh, for 33 years, I worked for the Museum of Ethnography. Uh, from my, I finished my studies at the university and after I went immediately to the museum. So I have a kind of uh, 33 very beautiful year. I, look, uh, I will leave the museum this year perhaps because budget cuts and different problems and they want to close down the audiovisual department and they want to join the department with the films and the audiovisuals to the Hungarian National Film Archive. This is a plan. And if I am lucky, perhaps they keep me on the other place with the films together. If not, I don't know, perhaps I lose my museum connection, but I am very proudly remembered for these 33 years. And now I'm at the University of uh, Karoli Gaspar, and there is a media and social science studies, communication studies, and I'm te teaching students for multimedia, film history, anthropology, visual anthropology, making documentary films. So uh, this, this is a kind of new, new work for me. It's quite challenging to work with the new generation, but I have to tell you it's not, not very easy because they're using different gadgets, different things, what we studied and we learned, but we have to follow that. I, I'm learning from them also, sometimes a lot. And I also am here to learn from you internationally about the new technology and we work together for the, for the future.